memory for looking really, really cool in AAA despite being made by a super tiny team. Uh, we love zombie games, sometimes we love survival games, and Dead Matter has been on our radar for a long time now. We've mentioned it on many of our top 10 lists, and we figured today would be a good reason to dive into an interesting sounding game not enough people are talking about. And no, we're not sponsored by the game. Like I said, this one just makes for an interesting conversation. So Dead Matter is a game that is still being developed. It first popped up on gamers' radars in like 2016. It had a Steam Greenlight page and it was greenlit and later launched an Indiegogo campaign, which at the time of making this video has brought in over $814 thousand dollars by over 18,000 individual backers. Because it is ongoing, we haven't been able to play it. We're on the outside looking in here with the community and stuff. This game has been billed as a community-driven roguelite aimed to quench the thirst for a true zombie survival game. And frankly, like what they've been pitching sounds exciting if they can pull it off. And if you're a fan of this specific genre, hardcore survival, it might be up your alley. You know, it has garnered an active community paying attention to the development of the game, uh, providing input. It is a community-driven game. You know, people are following along with developer updates, and pretty soon there's going to be a closed alpha. Apparently, it's going to be totally closed, but you can still buy into the game to get access. There's excitement around this in the PC community because, feature-wise, it sounds incredibly ambitious, and basically, to many, it's the survival game that people have always wanted. That's what I've heard a lot of like YouTubers and people on forums say. It's like the survival game to end all survival games. It, the one to like really go truly deep into it all. There's so much that they're promising really, and it sounds cool. It's gonna be playable, both single player and multiplayer, apparently easily through Steam. Uh, you explore a 20 by 20 kilometer representation of Alberta, Canada, and it will be updated, of course. And more area maps are also in the pipeline. You're have a fully customizable character, you know, appearance, clothing, armor, the whole thing. You're gonna have fully customizable and fully moddable weapons down to like attaching a knife to make a makeshift bayonet on a rifle. Fully customizable vehicles, all different types of things from ATVs to Jeeps to cars. Uh, you, you can make a truck into like a zombie killing tank with your customization options. You can even get a hitch and tow stuff around. Plus you can basically set up a safe house out of any building you find in the environment. A lot of people are excited about this one and yes, the developers seem for real. Any place you can just make your own and then you can board it up, you can barricade it, fortify it, customize it, give it electricity. Then you can fish in nearby lakes, you can cultivate the land to grow crops, or you can lone wolf it or grow a community, maybe interact with AI or players. Many of these crazy features were possible thanks to these stretch goals being reached on their funding. You know, people are really showing up for this game. The developers also plan to completely flesh out an underground tunnel system uh, with like underground mining stuff with new weapons and things to explore in there. Uh, more customization options down the line. They wanna add trains and planes, helicopters and fixed wing aircrafts and also being able to manage your own airports. They plan to add so much to this game. I still wonder if it's like too much of a good thing, but still it's crazy ambitious and we don't have time to get into all of it. Now the building system is complex, like you forage for materials, you use real tools in your inventory to chop down actual trees and then convert those logs into plank, which is kind of survival stuff we've seen before, but for it to go truly on the level and also be in a zombie game, that's pretty sweet, that's a nice combination. You can build your own campfires and then you can hunt and gather and feed yourself. Finding water sources and, and taking control of them is going to be crucial. And the electricity system sounds pretty complex, like getting to finally power your place and then powering it efficiently allows you to take advantage of more crafting bench stuff and just getting access to more. There are safe zones with NPCs to take quests from too. I hope those are good because that's gonna make it or break it for me as someone who kind of plays by myself. But the whole gameplay itself seems to be the most important thing. You know, if you like crafting, surviving, and micromanaging to a pretty extreme way while also worrying about zombies, maybe you're a fan of something like DayZ, this game might excite you. Now, it's worth noting that they're really, really paying attention to the way they handle items and inventory, and it sounds pretty cool. The inventory is like a jigsaw slot style you may have seen before, and you know, items fit into inventory slots reflective 
on their real world size. So you can't just carry big, massive things by shoving it into your digital backpack and it disappears. You know, despite this though, uh, from the peaks at the inventory we've seen, it does seem pretty intuitive and manageable and, you know, at least somewhat easy to navigate, especially compared to other games in this type of subgenre. But scavenging runs are going to still require a lot of planning and strategy because you can only manage so much. That's all well and good, but the more interesting approach that caught people's eyes is this. Items are actually designed to behave realistically. This is kind of crazy. I'm quoting them here. Uh, you have to say like, unbox your own ammo, pack your own magazines. You have to open cans of food with tools you have, or just break it open on the ground and hope for the best. Uh, everything in the environment can be looted. All containers and drawers and safes can be physically opened and you can take stuff out of them and physically pick them up with like a full animation. It strives to be like as real as possible. No things teleporting randomly into your hand or your inventory. But you have to also make sure with all of this that you don't make too much noise. Anything from rummaging around, scavenging and picking up supplies to firing your guns and building stuff can all bring unwanted noise and then of course, unwanted attention. Plus, it also looks pretty damn good and it's gonna have full mod support, which is of course huge for the PC gaming community. So the Dead Matter developers are pitching all of the right things. They just need to really pull it off and frankly, we haven't gotten our hands on the game yet, so we have no idea. Many things have to come into place other than just being able to fish and build a house. You know, are the quests interesting? Is the shooting really fun? How are the enemy types? Are they fun and challenging? There are lots of questions raised, but all we can do is really follow along with the updates like a lot of fans have. And thankfully, Quantum Integrity Software, the Canadian development team here, has been doing a really good job. If it all comes together and all of it kicks ass, it could be a miracle for PC gamers and like survival zombie horror game fans. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. You know, it's fun to talk about and we'd love to hear what you guys out there think. Uh, number one, how do you like the elevator pitch? Just like an incredible, deep, comprehensive, roguelite, post-apocalyptic zombie sim game with a big environment and full freedom. Does that sound too good to be true for you? Now, I also, we would love to hear from people who have jumped into this community. Maybe you backed the game. Maybe you have a lot more to say. I know I couldn't really go too deep into anything. Our time is limited here, but we did want to highlight it. Hopefully we did a good job of talking about it, at least on the surface level. But definitely if you 